People are starting to wake up to the power of NFT games and how much profits you can earn from them. I talk about this all the time, but NFT games are exploding right now. And there are some really great mobile based games that you can earn really great profits anywhere from, you know, 10 to 15 to $50 a day on some of these great mobile games. Today, I'm going to show you my top four mobile games where you can earn the maximum amount of profits by playing a video game on your mobile device. Are you ready? Well, hey there, crypto friends. Thanks again for joining me. So today we're talking all about mobile NFT games that you can profit from on the daily. These are games that you can earn anywhere from 10 to $15, or if you're an avid player, maybe even $50 a day on some of these mobile NFT based blockchain games. Uh, mobile gaming has exploded over the last few years, and we've seen thousands and thousands of people switching over or moving over to playing on mobile versus playing on desktops or playing console games. And so the mobile section of gaming has absolutely exploded, and NFT games are no exception. Today I'm going to show you my top four games where you can earn the most profits from playing these games on the daily. But before we get started with all of that, if you love games, NFTs, and earning money in crypto, then make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and smash that like button if you wanna to continue to earn and maximize your profits with me. All right, so let's go take a look at my top four games here because these are they're all very different in the way that they play and the way that you can play and earn in them. So I'm gonna show you a little bit of breakdown of what the game looks like and a little bit of how it plays and how you actually can earn profits in each one of these games. All right, so here we are at the first game and the first game that we're gonna be talking about today is Binamon. This is a uh, cryptocurrency based mobile game that is on the Draken network, which is not one of the big popular networks, but uh, it has uh, gained quite a bit of popularity on mobile as being a really great Android and iOS based game that uh, you can earn rewards on. And it's kind of like a, uh, uh, you know, virtual pet style game with some RPG battle elements to it. So what you're doing is you're you're uh, buying these eggs and you're cracking open the Binamon and they have random uh, different stats, right? So you had, there's four different types of Binamon that you can get out of that. And then uh, there's five different classes. And so each one of them will have a little bit of different stats. And so you can uh, battle these, these Binamon in either a PVE or PVP mode. Now, while the initial sale of the Binamon are uh, done in Darkcoin, DRK, uh, you can go and uh, you know actually uh, you know hatch these, and then you can uh, level them up and sell them on the marketplace. And you can see here some of the recent sales or recent trades that we've seen here uh, is uh, you know for some pretty big uh, money. You know uh, initially these uh, crypto uh, these uh, Binamon uh, these crypto characters like NFTs they go for uh, about 800 dark which is a set price it's about 32 dollars or so so this is one of those games that you know all these games are are, are fairly cheap to get involved in uh, they do have a, a you know some barrier to entry they're not necessarily all free to play but you do have to do some small investment up front uh, to be able to get started on this. So once you have your Binamon, you can uh, you know crack him open, start battling with him, and earning in-game currency called Ambrosia, which is AMB token, and that is part of their reward structure. So you can use that token to be able to fuse your Binamons together and uh, level them up, and then you sell them on the marketplace for profits, or be able to sell uh, the native token itself too. Uh, for some of these rewards and profits on the daily and so this is one of those the games where if you like a pokemon style game where you're leveling up your little creatures and battling them against other people's uh, creatures then i think that you actually really like binamon as a, a way to earn this and so you know this is one of those games where you know the, the rate of earning is a little bit less than some of the other ones i'm going to feature here later in the video but uh, it's a lot of fun. All these games are games that are actually interesting and fun to play. They're not just, you know, click, click, click games where you get bored and you're like, oh my gosh, okay, I'm earning, but this is boring, right? These games are actually fun to play. So you can, we'll, we'll look at a little bit of game uh, footage here from their uh, YouTube channel. Uh, and so you can see basically you're breeding, you're fighting, and you're earning based upon what you have there. And so this is what it looks like when you open an egg, 
you have it pop open and you get ran a, a random binamon with a random uh you know generated assets uh, or, or you know class and uh and uh, also their their um different levels for power defense hp and mp and uh, you know you as you play these characters you level them up right so leveling them up you can either do that through fighting or you can do that through uh, the the fusion right the fusing of the two years and as they level up they go from being a baby to a teenager to an adult and of course the adult binamons fetch a lot more profit they're definitely not uh, it's not the easiest to get them to that level but if you can and you do and put that time in uh, they sell for big money on the marketplace and so you can see here them them kind of fusing other binamons together you have these couple levels together and you can fuse it into a more powerful uh, binamon uh, which uh, gives you uh, these unique traits so you can see that it's been upgraded and then looks a little bit different too So that's a pretty interesting aspect of what Binamon has going on So uh, yeah, so with Binamon it is is very easy to be able to play and have fun and do this on mobile and continue to earn while you're battling your pets and keeping up with your virtual Binamon pets uh, But like I said, not not the highest of the th of the, the four different games that we're talking about today But still tons of fun and a game that is very up and coming. They have a huge road ma roadmap uh, where they're building out a whole metaverse so the game you have right now is definitely going to be expanded over the next couple of years and they're being very aggressive about that roadmap as well all right so the number two game that i'm going to be looking at is called league of kingdoms league of kingdoms is a virtual uh you know land owning game that uh it's kind of like one of these builder games like age of empires right where you have your empire you're building it up with uh different pieces and uh you know based upon the rating of your land if you own these land nfts you earn daily rewards and die now you do have to have a land nft to be earning these really great high-end rewards but if you make that initial investment uh you can do that now you can play this game for free you don't know it's not required that you have to have a land nft you can actually earn rewards in other ways as well by just going out and playing the game and collecting resources and then minting the resources and selling them on a marketplace like OpenSea. so this game gives you a, a, quite a few different ways to be able to earn in it depending on whether you have an nft and you've invested in that or whether you haven't and so that's why i love the fact that they've made the barrier uh, to entry for this game quite low a lot of other games don't give you a free way to get started and earning, but League of Kingdoms does. So you can start building and collecting resources even if you don't have a, a land there and sell those resources in a marketplace for profits. Now, if you look at it, we can look a little bit of gameplay here and you can see a little bit of what it looks like building up your kingdom. And one of the interesting things is if you are a landowner and you are building up your land rating, which is what your daily die rewards are based on, you do have to keep that up. So if you don't upkeep your land and it starts to drop in rating, your, your daily amount of rewards are going to also drop. So that's something you have to take, take in consideration that this uh, investment definitely requires you to be continually playing this game to, to keep up your lands and keep building and expanding your kingdom and fighting for hegemony, as they say, <laughs> which I think is kind of a funny word to use in a video. Uh, but yeah, so so you're you know you're fighting against these other kingdoms. You have a bunch going on. There's a ton of different gameplay in this uh, versus what is going on in Binamon, where the gameplay is very straightforward. Uh, League of Kingdoms gives you a lot of different options of ways to be able to uh, play and maximize and battle uh, and build up uh, your 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 kingdom and uh, make strategic alliance and all these uh, really great things. So uh, League of Kingdoms uh, is is still a really great way to be able to do this and you know playing and earning through this game. Uh, is in multiple different ways getting those die rewards or selling the assets on the store all right so my number three game and one of my favorites on this list the one i play the most is splinterlands splinterlands is a card based battling game where you collect different cards and uh, you pick them uh, based upon uh, you know different uh, criteria for the the um, you know rules of the game and it is a, a a way that you can actually there's ways that you can actually earn in multiple different ways so uh, not only do you earn rewards by playing each uh, league or each season which is two weeks long uh, depending on what uh, rating you get during that season you get a different amount of rewards so there's one way of earning there and then you could sell those cards or rent them out uh, but then you can also, uh, you know, get these daily quests. And so if you look at the daily quests that uh, they have here, 
uh, you know, you, you just uh, follow this and you'll get a reward chest. So there could be a card in there. There could be DEC, which is their in-game currency, Dark Energy Crystals. And so you earn those as you battle as well. So you're earning uh, Dark Energy Crystals when you battle. You're earning rewards when the season ends. You can see there's 12 days in this season. Uh, you can also earn rewards by renting out your cards. And you also earn uh, newly rewards uh, with S, uh, with uh, the new token they have, right? Uh, the uh, Splinter Shards token, SPS token. And uh, that has actual rewards based upon the amount of cards you have. So Splinter Island gives you a ton of ways to earn rewards and earn them passively, earn them actively, uh, earn them, you know, based upon your gameplay, how well you do. So it's very skill based as well. And that's a different thing uh, versus some of these other games. Uh, is that th this is a very skill based game. And so you can see a little bit of gameplay here for uh, Splinterlands and what it looks like. Uh, this is a, you know, basically what you're doing is you're picking the card lineup based upon uh, some of the criteria, uh, the mana cap and the rules you can see are all set here. The, the mana cap and what splinters you can use. And uh, the game is an auto battler. Like it just, you don't have to actually do anything once you pick the card, you just go to the thing uh, in here and you can see the battle play out. Uh, here we're doing it in fast time. You can actually usually just skip the results too, but uh, it gives you a good idea of what the gameplay looks like and how how uh, you actually battle and what they're doing, right, in the actual game itself. So Splinterlands gives you a ton of ways to play and earn, and of course you can play this game on iOS or Android, and you can download the app from the Play Store, just like League of Kingdoms and Binamon, all available on both platforms. And a very popular game. And this is one of the original NFT games as well. So they have really done a good job of, of uh, fleshing out all the features. There are guilds. There's tournaments that are built in. There's so many great things to explore in Splinterlands and ways to earn on the daily. And with the recent explosion of their in-game token, uh, the rewards are plentiful. And this is one of the highest uh, grossing uh, in-game rewards for a mobile game that is out there. And last and not last, last but not least is uh, one of my favorite games as well, which is Axie Infinity. Now this is a game that is there is a high, a little bit of a higher barrier to entry. The axes themselves, you need a team of three axes, and uh, it is a a game where you are um, you know leveling up your axes by playing them in the PVE, or you can do PVP. And uh, as these axes level up, they get uh, you know a little bit better stats. And uh, the stats are also really just, you know, some, some of their, their attacks and their, their cards that they get. This is, this is a card-based battler, but that uses these axes as kind of the back end. So the cards that they have available to them are based upon the attributes and stats of each axe. The axes are fairly expensive on the marketplace. You're looking that you're going to be spending anywhere between $300 or more per axe. And you do need a team of three to battle uh, it out in Axie, but it is a great mobile game. And if you can get that amount of money or those amount of Axies to get started, then you can definitely earn a good amount. There are people that are earning 50 to a hundred dollars a day on Axie Infinity if they're playing very avidly. These are people that are playing eight to 10 hours a day. So don't think you're gonna pick it up for 30 minutes. Most of these games, you do have to play quite a bit and be very involved to continue to earn and maximize your profits on the daily. So really take that consideration that you might wanna find one that best suits you and uh, kind of jump in and see uh, what it really costs to play. Uh, in, you know, in, in conjunction to a game like Splinterlands, it only uh, costs about $10 to get started, uh, which, you know, you need for Spellbook. Axie Infinity is a little bit more expensive, uh, but there is a lot going on. There are a lot of players playing, and there's a lot of opportunity there uh, to be earning their in-game token called SLP, which is what you win when you win PvE battles or PvP battles. And so SLP tokens can be used to breed your axes, which you could then sell those axes in the marketplace, kind of similar to Binamon, uh, or you could actually just sell the SLP tokens on the market uh, in the same way that uh, we, we saw with Binamon doing the AMB tokens, the Ambrosia token. So some similarities there uh, in, in these, and axes are super cute. Why wouldn't you want I mean, you'd want to get on axes if you could, right? So like I said, there, there's a lot going on there. Uh, they, they, it is one of the premier blockchain games and is really great and easy to play on mobile uh, in conjunction to, to uh, you know, some of these uh, desktop games, which you just couldn't do. So these are some of the top three, uh, the top four uh, NFT mobile games uh, that you can play in both Android and iOS. And uh, they're fairly easy to get started with. Like I said, you know, the only ones that really have a huge cost per hit is Axie Infinity, but all of them do have some sort of cost associated with them, you know, give or take, to be able to get going. Uh, League of Kingdoms is really the only one that you can play without having some sort of major investment. So, 
Hopefully you guys like that breakdown of my top four NFT based mobile games where you can actually earn daily profits between 10, 15 or $50, depending on how much you're investing. I want to know, I want to hear from you guys. Are you guys mobile gamers? Let me know what you're playing below uh, so I can check them out. And if you're playing any one of these games on this list, I'd love to hear about it. That's all we have for today, folks. Until next time, stash that crypto, friends.